In this video, we'll look at whether potassium fluorite, that's KF, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. And to do that, we need to look at the equation, the neutralization reaction, that produced the potassium fluoride. So here we have potassium hydroxide, the OH hydroxide, tells us this is a base. And then we have hydrofluoric acid, that H in front, kind of tells us that this will be an acid. So the neutralization reaction produces potassium fluoride and then water. Once we know the equation, we need to figure out the strength of the reactants. So this is a really useful table to memorize. If we look at the table, we're looking for KOH. And here it is. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base. Put SB up there. And then HF, we're looking for it on our list of strong acids. And HF is not a strong acid. It's actually considered a weak acid. When you put HF in water, it won't dissociate very much. It'll mostly stay together. Therefore, we consider it a weak acid. So we know the strength of our base and our acid. Now we can use our rules to figure out whether KF is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's in water. We have a strong base and a weak acid. Strong base, strong acid. Here we go. Strong base, weak acid. The pH of the solution will be greater than 7, so it'll be alkaline. We also say that that's basic. So in answer to our question, when we put KF in water, it will form a basic or alkaline solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.